So Lorraine 40T is one of the newest additions to the Bond store, and I recommended it when I was going through what Bond store tanks you should probably end up picking up if you were looking for a tier at premium, and I recommended this one. So let's go ahead and play some games and see what it's all about. Okay, so we have a 30 second reload time, and that is using IAU vents and V-stab. So all of that being bounty, we're using food, obviously. We have about 50 feet loadout. Um, this is what I would expect most people to kind of have if they've you know, been playing the game for a long time and got a bit of bounty. Um, it's pretty common setup, of course. You could use it with standard equipment if you really wanted to. I have no idea where our achievement's going. And we have only just got loaded, so we are now just going to wait and we'll see if we can pick up a shot or two. Let's see, we get one in. Don't get the second one, though. I don't really want to try and go for shots that I'm probably going to miss. Like at range over there. Let's see. Move up slightly. Okay. As you can see, the gun... It works. But it's very derpy sometimes. Especially with the standard shells. The standard shells are kind of potato launchers. Like, they're 1k shell velocity. At least if the APCI goes slightly faster at 1.2. Um, it's... It, it does feel like you're you're kind of lobbing the shells. It almost feels like you're going golfing. Like that's how that's how bad it is with the shell velocity. But for the most part, the tank's fine. You know, at the end of the day, you got to realise that this is a tier eight. It is not going to be some insanely good tank. Okay, the Progetto, as you can see here, is better than this tank, obviously. But at the same time, you can't really play it in the same way as the Progetto. Yeah, we get one in. That's not bad. Oh, our base has been overrun. Okay, very, very cool. Indian Panzer is a bush. Very good scout tank. Ah... Uh, it's not doing so well anymore being a scout tank. Um, I am thinking I go to APCR here. And we're going to obviously intuition it out. Just because it's going to be against quite heavily armoured tanks. So uh, I don't really trust this gun that much to fire that shot. We hit it. This tank is very weird, though. Maybe we can uh, just get a shot on his roof. Yeah, no. It's not happening. Okay, I'm going to go down and around to where we originally were, but this tank is... It's a weird one. Right? It's... This tank I didn't actually struggle with marking too badly. Um, this was one of the tanks that I didn't really feel like it was too much of a grind to try and free mark because as long as you get into tier 8 games or even tier 9 games you'll do absolutely fine because the gun is good enough at close to medium range not very good at long range but you know that's kind of expected kind of want to I want to clip out this crayon it's fired one two I'm just going to go forwards I'll take the hit, I don't mind one more get our, our uh, ammo rack back very nice get a full clip out very, very good. So, I mean, not the greatest, honestly, this game, but it's good enough, I guess. I mean, 15-5, tier 10 game, the bottom tier. That's not too bad. You know, good warm-up game for the tank. So we earn 176k, we take home 134k, 
Um, we didn't have to re resupply the consumables, otherwise it would be 110k um, that we take home. But that is not too bad. Um, as you can see, also, the marks changed. So I was at 2.8 and obviously 2.7 to mark the tank at this stage. So the marks obviously changed, so that is why we went up, regardless of how much damage i done. I mean, for equipment, I don't really know what else I'd recommend. Maybe optics. Maybe optics might be a better option, to be honest, than uh, IAU. Now you can get up to 500 meters at least, so you can spot, your, spot for yourself pretty effectively. I wouldn't really recommend that you go full gold, because the standard rounds aren't that much different from the premium rounds. But there's only 30 pen. So it's not really like a massive difference between them. It's not like if you can't pen it with AP, you're probably not going to easily pen it with APCR. Unless it's a very, very flat object. Anyway, let's go play another game. Right, well, for game number two, we're on highway. I'm going to go to the city. Again, we have uh, tier 10s. But the reason why we're going to the city is that I do not like going the other side of the map. Like, even if I'm in a tank like this, I'd rather go to the city and just try and hide and play more like a 50B kind of scenario than try and go up to the north and just die. Because it's impossible to push this um, if they have people camping. I, I just don't like it. So I'll see you once we get to the city. <laughs> and obviously what we can do... Now that we have um, have made our way here, we can go ahead and shoot this out. So that we can get some vision on anyone that is crossing. And hopefully we get some free shots. There's one. And let's see if we can get one more shot out. Very nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. What I want to do is just hide behind here. Because if Artie wants, wants to try and shoot me, he can from that position there. So we just hide here, we'll get unspotted, which we have done now, and we'll go back to here and wait for another 16 seconds. Okay, let's see if anyone is here. What I'm going to do is just use my gun to peek this corner. Don't spot anyone, very nice. Now if you don't know, you can use your gun like when side scraping. So for example, if, you, if you're in a tank that could side scrape, which this tank cannot, you'll be able to spot with your gun because your viewports are at the highest point of the, your tank, which is the cupola. So my way of seeing tanks is with the gun and the very top of the tank with the cupola. There's no, like, viewports in the tracks or whatever. Which is why many times when you come around a corner like this and you cannot see, it's because they're just shooting your tracks and you won't be able to spot them. That looks like a very, very free shot on that Progetto, if he does that again. Ooh. That is not what I really want, to be honest, but... We might be okay, actually. I think there's something else in that bush. This turtle is... Take a shot, maybe. Wow, okay. That was a... Uh... Not too worried about the 5120, because he has, what, a 3.75 second intra clip or something like that? Like, that is... Uh... Come help. I'll just tell my team that I'm reloading still. I'm trying to kill the. Ah! Well, I was going to. Uh... Oh, that's really annoying now. Artie has literally just ruined that. <sighs> Whatever, man. I wanted to try and go and kill the IS-3, but I couldn't because I was now one shot from artillery. Well, that went well. Another thing that's really bad about this tank is the hit points. Like, it's not even bad because it's low hit points. It's bad just because it's tier 8. And when you get into tier 10 and tier 9 games, 
where they have like 400 alpha, 500 alpha, you get torn apart in them like a matter of no time at all. It's three shots or four shots and you're dead. Like, it's very, very annoying. Anyway, let's go and play one more game. Please give me a tier 8 game. Okay, so we're on Paris. So what? There can be nothing going wrong now. French tank on Paris in a tier 8 only game. We'll just make our nest here. And hopefully I can get some shots on people that are crossing this. Let's see. Keep him in line. What did I hit? Wait, what? Oh. I, did it go wide? I guess so. Okay, well this is not looking good. Let's run away from this. And we're going to go over to this side of the map. I'm pretty sure the ELC is in the middle. wait before we cross this. We might as well just reload this. It's going to be a while until we can shoot something. Okay, well, we're going to need APCR because that is very heavily armoured tanks. And let's see if we can get some, uh, some shots on people. Do I get spotted if he... If I shoot through this little tree. Not really too sure. Maybe I can uh, create the nest. Let's have a look. See if we can create the nest without getting spotted. be a clean shot on this. Hmm. We can still go through him and still uh, potentially clip him. I need to hire a little bit. My team is just flopping at this point though. If he goes back a little bit more I might be able to shoot him. No shot on the Patriot though. I might be able to shot actually. That is not enough of a shot that I want to take with this tank. Well, I mean... actually shoot me? Why? Why would he not shoot me? That's a free like 1k damage for him. We just have to wait now. What I need to do is kill this uh, Patriot in a second. This guy's made a mistake. That was not the play. There's no one else over that way. I should be able to just go forwards and just try and kill this uh, 7032. That was a bad idea. That's fine though. I need to tell them that I'm reloading. Well, I mean, the enemy team played this awfully. Like, absolutely awful. I don't know what they were doing. Like, the BZ just sat there. I, don't <laughs> I have no idea. I want to... Okay. I was going to say, I want to try and kill the... Uh, the ELC. Got him. 
What? What is going? What? I, I'm lost for words. Doesn't turn very well, this. Sir. Ugh. There we go. Lovely. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what they were doing. That was that was a very weird game. I won't lie. That was a very, very weird game. I mean, it showed you that the Lorraine is not a god-tier tank. Which is probably why it got put in the Bond store, to be honest. Um, because none of the tanks in the Bond store are, you know, S-tier. You know, like, amazing, you must have them. None of them are. But... It's fine. So at the end of that session, we do get 1.8, which isn't good um, by any means. Um, you can easily get like 2k plus in this tank easily, um, even if you'd never fire gold. But the tank, the thing is, it's a big target, has no armor, doesn't have enough hit points for tier 10 and some tier 9 circumstances. But in tier 8, it's good. And in tier 9, it's decent. Because you have enough pen and you can get around the map. The gun, however, is a bit derpy. It will go wherever it wants to go sometimes. And there's nothing you can do about that. So for sniping, it's a big no-no. But for medium to close range, it's good. It's good as a little clip machine. Does that mean that everybody should go out and buy it? No. The exact same way that not everybody should go out and buy a Progetto. If it doesn't suit your playstyle, it's not going to be suiting you as a tank that you should get. And I would say that this has a very high skill cap for how you can actually get away with this tank and play it. Yeah, some people are going to love this thing, but some people will just hate it. And I can honestly see both sides of the argument, because this gun can be just a nightmare, and so can, you know, the lack of armor. Um, you, can, you can make up your own mind for your equipment choices you could even go and stick a turbo in there you could go hp turbo stab if you wanted to if you got a city map for example or hp and then vents stab if everything kind of works in fact i would recommend that you actually go with hp um for well just exactly like this for the city maps because at least then you get a little bit more hp to deal with when you get shot at and would we have survived that shot Probably, we might have actually survived that shot if we had HP uh, from the AMX 120. So there's plenty of ways that you can play this tank. There isn't a set way that is the best. And another thing that I want to mention is that it does get good camo. But like, this is very, very nice camo. Does that mean that you should go and build it as a scout tank? No, because it's way too big to be a scout tank. Like, <laughs> imagine this thing trying to hide in a bush. <laughs> But when you do need to go into a bush and scout, you can do, is what I'm saying. So yes, I still recommend this tank, but it's not for everyone. See you in the next video.